What's up guys, Sean Astrom here. In today's little video, uh, I wanted to show you how we can set up uh, sort of a UV guide right inside of Cinema 4D that we can take over to Photoshop, do some quick UVing, and then, yeah, have a nice layout that we can work from. It's kind of a clunky workflow uh, inside of Cinema and it's not 100% clear how to do it. Uh, so that's what this video is for. Let's dive in. So here I am in Cinema and I grabbed this part here out of the good old uh, Asset Browser over here. Um, I just searched for joint and, and this thing came up. So this is a good, good little uh, example here. So with a model like this, I have these like flat surfaces here and um, something you may want to do is shoot this over to like Photoshop and just add in a couple logos um, and, and yeah. So we have our UVs already laid out here with this uh, UV tag here um, and you can see what we got. Um, but let's say I want to get this exact you know, layout here over to Photoshop. If you go up here to the layer menu, you can see that there's a bunch of options here, but they're grayed out. Um, and the one we want is outline polygons. And the reason it's grayed out is we actually need a um, color uh, layer or a material layer um, to get that to work. So right now I'm in the UV edit layout. And unfortunately, I feel like there's a couple windows that are missing here. Um, and that is the layer manager. So we're going to dock this over here. And in fact, actually, I'm going to load up the materials and I'm going to undock this and throw this onto here. And then let's bring up the color settings as well. And let's just dock that in here. Um, and I'll uh, hide the window title for this. So yeah, it's kind of kind of odd that these um, menus are not in the layout, but um, these pertain a little bit more to the body paint functionality um, in Cinema. But anywho, so what we need to do is I actually have a material already in here um, in my scene here, but I'm going to delete that and I'm going to go here and I'm going to create a new default material. And then inside the color channel here, uh, the way I like to do this is we need to basically get an internal texture going inside of Cinema here that we can uh, use this command here, um, outline polygons and fill polygons to sort of print the UV layout here onto a texture. So if I go here under my texture menu here in my color channel on this basic generic Cinema 4D material, um, what we can do right inside of here is we can go create new texture. Uh, so if I just do this here, we get this little menu here. And here you can adjust the resolution, uh, you know, the bit depth, all this good stuff. Um, but we'll just, we're just going to name this here UV um, Guide. Uh, so with that, we're going to go OK. And just like that, you can see this turn gray here. Now, if we go to our Layer uh, Manager, not to be confused with uh, the actual uh, layer from uh, the Object Manager layers, this is the Body Paint layers. Um, and this, this really does behave a lot like Photoshop. So you actually have some very similar functionality. It's just a little, little funky to set up. Uh, so if I turn this on, for example, uh, you can see I get a little paintbrush over here. And with my color menu here, if I, I don't know, say select a bright blue, you can see that I'm, I'm starting to uh, color here. And if, uh, if we apply the material onto our object here, you can see what we're getting here. In fact, I can even color right onto the model here just like that. So, but it's just kind of quirky the way it works. Um, like you can see now it's like not in my UV editor here anymore. So I need to go to the layer here and select it again. And we just need to make sure that it's selected. And then you can see that I can, you know, paint away here. Um, so, but yeah, let me, I'll just throw this back onto my model here so we can see that in here. But actually I want to undo. So I'm undoing these strokes here. Um, and then I'm going to throw this onto my model. We can just see that that's working again here. And yeah, sure enough, that's working. Um, and so all we need to do now is we need to go, we need to make sure our layer is selected here. And now if we grab our uh, polygons, or if we get into polygon mode here, um, and if I hit Control A to select all of the polygons, 
I can just go to this layer menu now and I can finally get to that outline polygons option here. And so if I deselect this and let's see here, oops, let's go select and deselect all the polygons so we can actually see. So you can see it actually stroked out all of the polygons here right within um, the UV editor here. So now, uh, yeah, so let's say I want to take this guy here and save it out. I can just right click on the material here um, under, under the actual texture icon here and I can go texture, save texture as, and then we can save it as a TIFF. That's totally fine. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop. It's already named UV guide and that's great. And now if I hop over to Photoshop, I can open that up. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. It's going to my Adobe folder by default. That's funny. Um, let's just go to my desktop and let's see here. UV guide. There we are. So as you can see, it created this super nice UV guide that we can then use to lay out any graphics right within here. Um, you know, so if I, if I had my logo here, it's very small. Let's scale that up real quick. You know, obviously this is what, what we need to be able to do this inside of Photoshop and it just is super nice to have a, a guide like this that perfectly aligns with your UVs in Cinema 4D. So it's just kind of a clunky workflow the way this all has to has to work. Um, but as long as you have a texture that you've created within your material, then you can outline your polygons just like this. Now I'm going to undo a few steps here and just show you if we wanted to change the stroke width, let's say on that outline, we can go to this brush here and this is what's driving the all of the you know the stroke width and whatnot so if I go to the attributes here you can see my brush settings here um, so my brush size is currently set to 10 I think something like 4 would be better for outlining these and then I don't know maybe we really do a bright like yellowy color here and we could even get fancy and like create a new layer here new layer um, and then if we go to polygon mode and we go here and do layer outline polygons it's going to create the outline for us and I'll switch back to model mode here and we can see it in the in the viewport here which is kind of nice so if I go to my materials and under viewport if we go no scaling we'll get um, full resolution there so you can see yeah it's a really handy way to get your UV kind of guide going and so that you can work with it uh, inside of another program. Um, and then there's also the fill polygons option. So if I hop in here and go back to polygon modes, let's just say we want to like highlight this so we know this is the top. Um, we could go here, do another new layer, maybe a different color, and then layer fill polygons, get that going. And then now we have this nice guide so we know exactly what's going on. And then if I go back to my material layers, I can shift select these guys, or maybe not, that doesn't seem to be working. So I could merge layer down, merge layer down, very similar to Photoshop. Uh, and then right click texture, Let's see here, save texture as, TIFF, that's cool, we'll go UV Guide, we're going to replace it there, and back to Photoshop, let's open it up again, let's update it, and there we go, so now we have our updated guide, and that's a little more clear as to what we got going on here. So yeah guys, um, kind of a clunky workflow, but I hope that helps out and makes sense for you all, but the biggest thing to remember is you have to you know, if you have a material, you need to go to the color channel or any channel. Um, and, you know, I've always just liked to, you know, create my materials from within here or my textures rather. So you just go in here, create new texture, you know, UV2, 
let's say, and there you go, we see we got it loaded up here. And then if we select this guy, um, that's how we know that we're enabled on it. And yeah. So uh, yeah, I hope this helps some of y'all out, maybe some newcomers to Cinema 4D. And uh, yeah, so that's how you get your UV guides over to another editing app. Talk to y'all later.